Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston, and today is the 7th of August, 2016, and this is going to be a piece that's basically my opinion, but I'm basing my opinion on a lot of things that I've seen lately, and a lot of things you've seen lately. A lot of people like to, and I'm, I'm talking a lot of people, a lot of people like to talk about evolution, how we were monkeys and we somehow managed to hold our breath and turn into human beings and stuff like that. I don't believe that. And if you really honestly go back and research evolution, you'll find out that the guy that actually came up with it, Darwin said himself, you know, they don't, they don't blow this up very often, that the main problem with his theory of evolution, because that's all it is. It's all it ever was. Some guy came up with a, with an idea and a bunch of rich people pushed it, basically. But Darwin said his main problem with his theory was there was zero evidence. There's no evidence of a monkey turning into a person. Every single thing they brought forth was a molar they found. And then five miles away, they found a jawbone. And then another three miles away, they found a finger bone. And they put those all together in amalgamation and decided that was a missing link. Well, it's bullshit. We have thousands, if not millions, of bones of humans of monkeys, of all types of things, but we've never actually found bones of anything in between. Now, why am I saying this? Because I'm a Christian. And a Christian isn't a religion. A Christian means I'm aware of the intelligent design that's all around us. I'm aware that there was a creator. I'm fairly sure his son came down here and they crucified him. And he rose again and he died for our sins. Actually, I'm pretty... I'm going to say I'm 99% sure. It's hard to tell because Jesus has never actually spoken directly to me. I do believe God's contacted me several times, whether I noticed it or not. But again, I digress. The reason that I'm so sure of my Christianity is because of things like this. This ritual we're watching right now was for a tunnel. These guys built a tunnel under a mountain and this is the opening ceremony, it doesn't even make any sense. It's just absolute lunacy. But if you look through it and dissect it, you can see all the evil everywhere. Whirling dervish, people are under the veil. The fact that they're using large harmonic devices to open portals, things of that effect. You know what I mean? I think it's funny that people don't believe in God, but they point out all the satanic rituals and satanic symbolism and satanic and satanic, but they don't believe in God. Well, how do you have one side and not have the other? You don't. So when I hear people that don't believe in God talking about Satan, I simply unsubscribe and carry on and keep moving. Now, the point of this video wasn't to tell you about my Christianity or what my beliefs are. I'm just looking around at what the elite people, the people that are wealthy, the people that have access to the Vatican Library, the people that have access to knowledge that we'll never have, the people that are running and controlling everything, the people that are killing millions of people via war, which are backed up by enormous lies. The president doesn't like this other guy that runs another country because he's the dictator when they're secretly friends and the dictator got his money from our president in the first place. You follow what I'm saying? These people have an access to information that we'll never have. The only time we get any of this information is when they present it in a ritual like this where we can actually look and see what they're doing. They are celebrating Sir Nuno's. They are celebrating the fact that they built a machine that is going to try to tear the veil. They are clearly showing their affinity to Satan, to Lucifer, whatever you want to call him. Satan and Lucifer are two different people. But at any rate, these people are showing this in all their crazy, crazy rituals. Now, this just happened back in June, only a couple of months ago. It seems like a lifetime ago. But since this has happened... And since things like the CERN Awake Project has started to run, people are seeing crazy stuff all over the place. People are seeing things like this moving across fields. And the name of it is Super Rare Ball Lightning Moving Across a Siberian Field. Do you realize how ridiculous that is? These people are seeing what I believe are entities that are being released. Look at this thing. Does that look like lightning to you? And it's simply walking across the field. It's not leaving a fire trail behind it like lightning would. 
It's moving across the field. And these things are showing up everywhere. Look at this thing. That's lightning. It's a giant, giant ball of energy moving across a field. That is insane. Have you noticed the weather everywhere is off the charts? Absolutely off the charts. I'll leave you links for this so you can see it for yourself. But this stuff is happening all the time, and I've actually seen it myself. All I got was a snapshot, and it was dark. But I think what's going on is they're being successful, and we're passing it off as natural phenomenon. Does that look natural to you? This is all over the YouTube, and the UFO channels are going right along with it, saying it's alien. I don't think it is alien. I don't think it is. I think this is all demonic activity. I think this is how they come through. The angels of light, well, that looks just like it to me, and it's traveling. It's traveling right along. I'm trying not to play it because it's so bouncy. I'm sure I would be, too, if I was trying to track a evil entity walking across a field. This is just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I don't care. It's what I started this channel for anyways. I want to hear feedback from other people that are on the same wavelength as myself. That's not lightning. That's a huge entity moving across the field. And there's more of them. Stuff like this thing right here that's been labeled as a UFO sighting in Arizona. I've seen one of these, and I've seen numerous ones of these. I don't know if I said that wrong. I've seen numerous entities like this, groups of them, when I was down in Florida. And I recently seen one not too long ago. It appeared as a star. But the longer I looked at it, first of all, it caught my eye. Out of all the stars in the sky, I caught this one caught my eye. And it moved down. And it was exactly like this one right here. These aren't UFOs. These are what demons can manifest as and in this in this reality. And I believe that they're pulling them through. What do you think all the rituals and all the work is for? What do you think CERN is doing? How in the world are they running a machine at 99.9% .9 the speed of light and then hooking it up to the, the Wakefield plasma accelerator that multiplies that speed by a thousand times? Not a thousand percent, a thousand times. So 99.9% .9 speed of light multiplied a thousand times would equal, you know what I mean? Way past the speed of light. I think these guys have done it. This is the creator of the D-Wave quantum computer, the computer whose job, he was. it was built to stabilize the portholes when CERN finally opened them. Listen to this guy talk. He explains straight up what the D-Wave quantum computer job, what it, what it is and what it does. Straight up. He doesn't lie. Listen to this. So it's almost everybody. So I have, I have three children. The youngest is four. The old from our lab in Burnaby in British Columbia. From the outside, they look like giant black monoliths. Big metal boxes. About 10 feet on a side, 12 feet tall. And they are powered, they have a fridge inside them, a refrigerator that cools these chips to almost absolute zero. Just a wisp, a fraction of a degree above absolute zero. Hundreds of times colder than interstellar space. Amongst the coldest and most isolated and extreme conditions that humans have ever been able to engineer. These fridges, interestingly enough, which are called pulse tube dilution refrigerators, have a thing called a pulse tube, which emits a sound roughly once per second, which sounds eerily like a heartbeat. So if you're sta you have the opportunity to stand next to one of these machines, it is an awe-inspiring thing, at least for me. It feels like an altar to an alien god. It, they really are impressive machines. These things are being caught all over the country as of the last couple of weeks. All over the country and they're being called they're being called lightning or UFOs or whatever. These are what has always been described as angels of light. Demons. They're being brought through. It's working. I apologize that the video isn't spot on, but this is just me rambling because I can't think of any other way to get this out. But it's insane. This is happening. They're pulling it through. They're not hiding it. The machines are running and things are happening all over the United States, all around us. It's crazy. This was in Poland last month. You think that that's lightning just sitting there on the ground? That doesn't make any sense. We've never seen stuff like this before. And now it's everywhere, mostly in Europe. 
but we're getting the big time storms over here in the United States. Every time we turn around, there's some superstorm out of nowhere that's destroying the place. You know what I'm saying? It's absolutely crazy. At any rate, advanced computers and all that fancy stuff. Uh, he is warning us about, uh, well, let's listen to him directly. I think we should be very careful about artificial intelligence. Um, if I were to guess at what our biggest existential threat is, it's probably that. Um, so we need to be very careful with artificial intelligence. I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some uh, regulatory oversight uh, at the inter at maybe at the national and international level, uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't do something very foolish. Um, I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, "Yeah, you sure you can control the demon?" <laughs> Didn't work out. Do <laughs> you hear what he said? The guys with the pentagram. These guys aren't doing it on a small scale. These are their giant pentagrams. These are their black burning candles. They're doing rituals on a massive scale. Eight million pounds it cost for an opening ceremony, and people were flown in from all over the world, including everyone's favorite Illuminati, which Angela Merkel. You know what I mean? I believe these guys are doing it. Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it all around you? Everything is going wrong. Everything is going wrong, and it seems like the sky has just unleashed on a Every place. Look around. Go to some of those videos where strange things are happening in 2016 and look what's happening all in the last couple of days. It's absolutely off the hook. Off the hook. You're telling me that these guys aren't summoning demons? What the hell is this? You see what I'm saying? This stuff is for real. I believe it's working. Summer of chaos indeed. This is all over the country, and a lot of it is right here in the United States. This is crazy stuff. The lightning is like never before seen. All over the place. All over the place. And as they're presenting it to us, they're making jokes about it. There's all sorts of crazy stuff happening. Myself, I caught a video where the sky was the wrong... The sky seemed to be split right down the center. You know what I mean? This stuff is off the hook all over the planet. And that's what we would expect if you were summoning a demon on the scale that these guys are doing. And I believe it's working. It's off the hook. Everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. I'll leave links for this stuff. But it's insanity. This video was taken right down the street from my house by a friend of mine. Look at how unbelievably unnatural that this looks. It looks like a giant portal being opened. The camera person isn't very steady with the camera, but it's still right there. And to go along with all the rituals that they're doing all around us, including at Rio, everywhere, everywhere, you can't deny they're constantly putting up some sort of halftime show, something that's satanic. Now, everywhere we're seeing stuff like this. The School of Satan. This is right by me in Salem, Massachusetts as well. A big, big witch capital of the world. But let me show you something weird about the video I uploaded myself. This is the video I made when I was on my way back from helping out those flood victims down in West Virginia. This video was made in HD, but YouTube won't let it go past 240. Why is that? Why are they killing my, my video quality? Because it shows it perfectly. It's almost, it's almost impossible to see in the video right here the line in the sky. I made this with an HD camera. Everything else I upload is available in HD. This won't go past 240. So they're aware. They know we're doing this. You see what I'm saying? At any rate, I apologize the video isn't made like a motion picture, but finding times to make videos is really hard. I make a lot of videos for you guys, and it's difficult. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, if you don't believe in God, you might want to rethink it. Because the people that run this planet believe in the opposite. They believe in Satan, and they do rituals to him all the time, non-stop. And I believe it's having an effect because this stuff is coming through everywhere. Anyways, I hope this made sense to you. I did the best I could on this one. Richie from Boston. I'll leave links in the description, and I am out.